Hi everyone, Arnold here, SantaMuerteMagic.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. The topic of today's video is three simple rituals for Santa Muerte wardrobe magic. Uh, there's something inherently magical about the clothes we wear. Uh, I think many people already treat their clothes as magic charms without even realizing it. We all have clothes that serve a specific function, whether that's to accentuate certain parts of our bodies uh, or just to change the way we feel about ourselves, to make ourselves feel more confident, for example. So in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm going to give you three quick ideas for turning the clothes in your wardrobe into powerful magical charms blessed by the power and magic of Santa Muerte. First, I'll start with a suit of power, a professional suit that you could wear in uh, business uh, or professional situations. Take the main pieces of your favorite business suit, so that would be the jacket and slacks or the jacket and skirt, and hang them somewhere where you can perform the following steps in view of your Santa Muerte altar. At your Santa Muerte altar, light a gold offering candle. Gold is commonly associated with good luck in business and financial situations. And in the light of the burning gold candle, take three coins of the highest denomination that you can find and place them into one of the suit pockets. If you are worried about setting off metal detectors, in the course of your work, you can replace the three coins with three dollar bills of the highest denomination that you can spare. Stand in front of the hanging suit and touch somewhere on the suit, wherever feels most comfortable, um, with one of your hands. I would probably grab hold of one of the shoulders on the suit jacket. Uh, next, visualize a bright golden light emanating from your hand and into the suit. Visualize this light actually weaving into the fabric of the suit, blending with the threads and fibers that form your suit. As you visualize the light, repeat this, uh, the following magic prayer a total of nine times. Quote, Santa Muerte Cloak of Gold, bless this suit to make me bold. All the business that I do, blessed with luck while in this suit. End quote. Leave the suit to hang in the light of the burning gold candle until the candle burns to completion. And when you wear the suit, do not remove the three coins from the pocket where you place them. Um, and uh, for a quick uh, boost of magical energy, uh, whenever you are about to enter an important business uh, or professional situation like an important meeting or before you give an important presentation, you can touch your hand to the pocket where you are carrying the coins and recite the, uh, the same magic prayer silently to yourself. You should repeat this uh, ritual whenever you have the suit cleaned um, or if you ever remove one or more of the coins from its pocket. If you wear suits on a regular basis and you want to have more than one of these suits of power in your arsenal, feel free to perform this ritual on two suits at once. The second petition ritual I'll share with you is for new and passionate sexual experiences. If you have an undergarment that makes you feel sexy or lucky in love, then use that. For this ritual, you can use a red offering candle Red, commonly associated with romantic love and passionate sex. And then at or near your Santa Muerte altar, light the red offering candle so you can work in its light. Then place the undergarment flat and unfolded also at or near your altar. In the light of the burning red candle, sprinkle a circle of an appropriate love-attracting herb around the base of the red offering candle. Since the undergarment will be worn directly touching your skin, I do not recommend sprinkling the herb onto the undergarment directly unless you are absolutely certain that you will not have a reaction. The herb that you choose to incorporate for this petition ritual will depend a lot on your ultimate objective. Um, if you're looking to attract the sexual desire of someone for the purposes of starting a long-term relationship, 
or perhaps for reigniting passion in a current relationship, you might use rose petals. Rose petals are associated with attracting long-lasting love. If you're looking for more of a one-night stand, I'd recommend something like rosemary, which is associated with attracting lust, uh, ginger, which is uh, associated with promoting new adventures and sexuality, uh, or perhaps catnip, which is associated with sparking an attraction, in this case, a sexual attraction. Uh, you might want to avoid catnip if you actually own a cat and don't want them to turn your undergarment into a chew toy. When the candle is encircled with the herb of your choice, touch the undergarment and visualize a bright red light emanating from your touch into the garment. See in your mind's eye the garment glowing bright red as you recite the following prayer nine times. Quote, Cloaked in red, most holy death, bless with lust these garment threads. When I wear these under things, good hot sex to me please bring. Leave the undergarment to rest in the light of the burning red candle until the candle burns to completion. Uh, since you should perform this ritual whenever you wash the garment in question, you might consider creating two or three of these lucky uh, garments at a time. Just place one garment on top of the other and perform the petition as described. Finally, I'll give you something for your health and wellness. This petition ritual is used to enchant a belt with the power to help you make better health decisions. Take a yellow offering candle, yellow is associated with health and wellness, and light it at or near your Santa Muerte altar, then take a belt um, and buckle it so it creates a closed loop. Carefully place the closed belt around and over the burning yellow candle so it creates a loop around the base of the candle. As the light of the candle reflects off the body of the belt, imagine the belt starting to glow a bright, healthy yellow. Then recite the following prayer nine times. Quote, Santa Muerte, Master Healer, bless this belt to make me better. Healthy choices help me make when it's worn around my waist. End quote. Leave the belt to rest around the base of the burning yellow candle until the candle burns to completion. You can touch the belt and recite the magic prayer to yourself whenever you feel tempted to make a bad health decision. To keep the magic of the belt as strong as possible, you can perform this petition ritual once or twice a month on the same belt. And if you're worried that people will think you only own one belt, uh, you can perform this petition ritual on two or three belts at a time. Just take the belts that you want to enchant and create a series of concentric circles around the base of the yellow offering candle. Uh, so if you're using three belts, you would close one belt to create a small loop, close another belt to create a medium-sized loop, and then close another belt to create a larger loop, and the light from the burning yellow candle should be able to touch um, all three of the belts at once. So there you go. As promised, I've told you how to perform three different Santa Muerte wardrobe magic petitions. Hopefully I've explained everything clearly, uh, but as always, feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. You can get in touch through the contact form on the website. There's also the Patreon messenger system and the Discord chat server. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. Until next time. Bye.